waist um, piece, a, mm -hmm. a rope, something that's a bit a waist thing. thing, so, so that you have the space. Oh yeah, and then um, and then you just weave on, and then you come back and you turn it under, and you. And you have, I see you, you hand stitched, stitched it. it. Yeah, yeah, you, you blind, blind stitched. Well, blind stitched. Very nice. So that is created by a hem stitch? stitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's but a hem stitch, and then a space, and then another hem stitch, and there's you know, the procedure. And then you um, you put your hem here at the Yeah, and the, in at fact, the this is rolled, this is a rolled. So yeah. this would have been about yeah. that yeah. much of yeah. plain weave to fold over it. Now. Yeah, it, it should have been a bit more, but I had forgotten about how to finish oh, it. Try that. Yeah. I like and that. then I remembered, and so then I had to unroll it when it was finished one end. Ah. And so then I pushed things apart. So one of them isn't as nice as the other because I hadn't. Well, uh, I have sorry. no problem here either. Yeah. Uh, but it looks, Karen, it looks like when you did the end stitch first, and then it looks like it's you you went over four threads. Well, so what, what, like a what happened is that I, this is the one where I had to go to the start. Okay. And then I pressed the, mm -hmm. the threads apart right. and I did the hem stitch. And then I tried to make some space because I couldn't put a, oh, okay. a string in. And then I hem stitched again, so you'll. Okay, because it looks so like it it's isn't as nice. As so, a, but you still had it on the loom, and you still kept it under tension. I, yes, yeah. because I, that's the key. Yeah, because I on I knew yeah. that once I got it off the loom, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do yeah. it. Yeah. So then I, um, uh, what did I do? Oh, I took one of the beams from in there and to get the tension, I hung it over, and then. Uh, Oh tied God. it up with string and wool and things like this so that wow. there was some dangerous. So did you have a instructions or did you just figure it uh, out? No, I have uh, I have um, a weaving book mm -hmm. that has this for a beautiful pattern which I've just wanted to make for years mm -hmm. and maybe which we as well. Book is it? It's not a weaving it's a magazine. Oh. So well, did you remove threads? Is that, that what you said? No, she put For this one, she did because she, yeah. she was um, making nice. up mm -hmm. because I, she had realized effective. she was going to do this finish. Okay. Yeah. And so then she had to go back and sort of, how can yeah. I do this now? You know, okay. I didn't do it properly the first time, but yeah. what can I do? So and so, what did you do? You you did the hem stitch. Yeah. And then you. You had other um, yarns in the way, or you just had the yeah. Same there's other yarns. You in didn't the way, flex so them by the time you were yeah, your hand handy. stitch really tight. Okay, it then it pushes them out of the way. Okay, yeah. so you didn't the remove any patchy. any yarn. Yeah. Well, I I didn't. Some of here, what you do is you hand stitch and you. Oh, you mean the background sew down, or you mean the pattern? Thread and the pattern. Then you then it just after you open it quarter inch or something. Then you do the hem stitching. But I think I think it has you do the hem stitching with the tail end that you've left. Yeah. And the oh, tail end that you do has to be three to four times yes, longer than I Sometimes see. even yeah. three times. Did you bring yours? Yeah, really? yeah. yeah that's why. So I just brought out it's such a big yeah. thing to yeah. get in that extra piece. I have oh. done, this is a, one I made in Cape Breton years ago. Yeah. Oh, you're, I, you're an old weaver, yes, Karen. Yes, she is. Oh, Very talented. I didn't know that. What is this pattern? Uh, it's uh, some sort of twill you'll have to ask Ellen. <laughs> It's just a, it's a, a broken a twill. It's just a point twill. twill. Yeah. yeah. You go one direction, then you reverse. And then what about direction. here? Well, That's you're doing it in the weft and the warp. Mm -hmm. you're this is what the young weavers, young, the beginner weavers would like to do some kind of twill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this this is pretty and this it's simple and and the nice thing about leaving a pattern like you do a pattern and you know your mind is going like right. this, but then you get to uh, the sort of straight twill and it's right, a breeze a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But I did uh, somewhat the same pattern or finish there. Yes. This is... Another thing you could do, I'm just... Uh, is you could just do a rolled hem, but do a fancy stitch there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fancy. And, and, fancy. And that would create your oh, holes. Oh, you mean like an uh, embroidery stitch or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that's an idea. That yeah. is a little simpler. To you create this history. design then. Mm -hmm. Pardon me? To create this design on there is just to do a fancy stitch where you well, would end up. Oh, no, this is, no, this is a similar 
finish, but not exactly the same. Okay. No. Yeah. Simpler yeah. to to do, right, Karen? Uh, I it's can't just actually yeah. remember. You go one direction <laughs> I think, I think and then I you come back have. the other. Yeah. Or did you sometimes? No, I, I think I don't know what I did. I think I just uh, or, turned it under, or, folded it, mm -hmm. yeah, and then just did this stitch fancy, on the end. Yeah. yeah. Instead uh, of yeah. a line stitch, sort of a more decorative kind yeah. of stitch. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Cream but down. I think it's. I think it's. It is similar, but it, yeah, it, look, you see that. Yeah, it is. It's the, the same type, yeah. same stitch, really. Yeah. Okay. Now, oh, wow. this of course is just that's um, that's yeah. just warp paste, right? This is warp paste. Yeah. 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 Warp paste. Yeah. Warp paste. <laughs> no weft paste, isn't it? No, it looks weft, but it's warp. Oh, the warp is very close together. Tight. Okay. So yeah. when you weave, you do not see, you can see the weft at the edges. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and if you bend it like this, you know, you can yeah, see it, and mm -hmm. it does color it a, a little it's, bit. I mean, it's a hurts. shadow weave, no, but it's, it's also color. Color. Yeah. Is this a lot to wrap weave? weave? Well, it's, it's sort of. Yeah, but it's kind this of is a variation yeah, of a wrap weave, which yeah. has a log weave. Yeah. This is so that's what it is. That, that one's summer and winter. You have your hand on the right. This is yeah. log no. cabin. Log cabin. Rep now, the one thing I'll say about doing this hem mm -hmm. stitch, like once you get into it, it it's really it it's doesn't take it doesn't you, take long. And it's much yeah. more enjoyable. When you're finished, it's you're done. done. Yes. You're done. That's you just I cut them apart, and yeah, <laughs> and I like that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh. I think this is the same thing, but it's just finer. Oh. Well, these are my attempt at the same um, uh, the Lanark Collins um, oh, tartan. Tartan. tartan, yeah. But of course, the colors and stuff aren't quite. I like the way though you're working with four cottons because yeah. yeah. Well, it, it gives it more no, body. this is 2-8, I think. I'm That's sure. very This fair. is 2-8, I think. And sure. It's hard to tell. Some of the twists yeah. started to come out. See? Mm -hmm. yeah. The yeah, white it looks like is 4-8. Yeah, th no, these are 2-8. 1, 2, 3, 4. It looks like 4. Yeah, I think it's 4. Is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Well, this one was 4 I, I, I can't actually remember. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's heavy. Yeah. And so this is a 50-50 weave structure. Mm -hmm. You can see the work mm -hmm. and you can see the work. Hmm. Yeah, even if it's a twill. Even if it's a twill. Okay. And and for a twill, you're looking for a diagonal which yes. is 45 degrees. That's your 50-50. This is 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if this was perfectly a uh, tartan the way it should be, I think these are all supposed to be square. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which, yeah. which of course they're not. Well, I think they're yeah. pretty close. You know, this is the way. rose pattern tea towels I made. Now, oh. there, mm -hmm. and I. This is um, Cotlin. Oh yeah, Cotlin is yeah. really good. And these have been used. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a blend of cotton and linen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it makes wonderful. Cotlin is a brand. Yes, it's brand. Yeah. It's actually a brand name. You can find yeah. uh, other blends. Yeah, they, that's yeah. where I got it. This is. And what is this called? The bird's eye. Yeah. No, this say? is. Well, this is a rose pattern. Oh, rose pattern. And the um, typically. I, I, I just changed, like, when you go in the rose pattern, you have a, a, a thread up that will make many different patterns. Mm -hmm. It's just your um, choice. Well, you can you change your yeah. Yes, yeah. you're Yes, right. you're treadling. Now, if and you're uh, a beginner, um, that would be hard to follow, mm -hmm. but you could do a similar thing in a plain weave or a twill. It's your colors here. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the uh, design certainly adds to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, and it's fun. Yeah. I mean, if you've got a big warp on, you're making eight or ten or eight tea towels or something. I mean, you want to have a bit of color. variety bit of and, of and, and color as yeah. well. So, so how old are those? <laughs> I don't know. Have they been used a lot? Yeah. In Washington? They yeah, look like they uh, haven't been. Uh, I have tea towels all. that yes. are 20 years old that are coddled that are still perfect. I mean, they yeah. just don't wear. And I wash them, dry them. Yeah, them. yeah. I I don't put them in the dryer. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah. It works yeah. really well. It softens it up. 
Yeah, yeah, it would. I mean, and right. this would be so right into your pocket. Yes, yes. So. And it doesn't get out of fashion either. No. You know, like. <laughs> Some well, colors sort of fashion. after a while. You know. It's so important that we're in fashion. I, I, I just found out this, Very this, good. this fall that, uh, that tea, um, turtlenecks are back in. Oh. And, and I had not been aware that they were out. <laughs> 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 you like them and they're comfortable and then you just keep wearing Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, very Karen. Nice. So those, those are some of the things that mm -hmm. we've made over the years. So. Very good. But actually, I guess it was, I like you were it. talking mm -hmm. about hemming this. It's, it's just lovely color. Yes. Mm -hmm. Turn over. Okay. Yeah. yeah, just turned and, over. And, and so yeah. yeah. And actually, I think, yeah. I think oh, you could nice. use the finer, color. finer cotton, if you had the finer cotton. Mm -hmm. To finish off, yes, I've tried it too, but it's so much work to change <laughs> colors, and I don't bother anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, excellent, very nice. Overshot. And I'm talking 20 years ago now, so, but I'm not a good sewer, so my friend sewed the vest together. So even if you have fabric and you're not good at mm -hmm. uh, putting it together, if you have a good friend that can sew. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if oh, you're this, this yeah. workshop that Look at how nice get this lady to do, you don't have to leave a lot of fabric. Look at this. Yeah. This is yeah. a small yeah. amount of yeah. fabric, okay? Yeah. So yeah. I know people were feeling intimidated, yeah. I think. And, um, and the yarn is fairly fine, but it's close together, so... So it's it's a little on a table, so though, because mm -hmm. your panels, you know, yeah. each side could be yeah. one width. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with the overshot, having fine, uh, fine thread, thread mm -hmm. you can get away with overshot, where she had thick thread mm -hmm. in that yeah. one, and yeah. so yeah. then it was it's open it. to yeah. being caught. Yeah. But that was, um, I thought, really excellent of her to show something that could really, I mean, we thought it was a wonderful vest yeah. anyway, but yeah. there was a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I, I wouldn't have known it was yeah. a problem until she pointed it out. And I, I used to wear this, so that's how slim I was. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now this was originally a rectangular piece that's of fabric right. that you wove, yeah. and you're just using it. You could use any pattern. You could get simplicity right. or any pattern, yeah. and no, you're just yeah, you're right. just using your fabric and right. And you know you can look at the finishing later. That's right. It's just a regular this pattern. This was a felted vest. Oh my! From Lucille Crichton, I have a few varieties. Oh, oh, you did make this one? No. Oh. I, I made I made this one. I made this one. But I look look at the finish. She added these thread after. Oh, yeah. She added this after. Right. These were just twisted oh, that? loops yeah. that you know she sew after. Yeah. And then she has pieces. But how? Yeah. Look how she put them together. Oh, it looks so very decorative. So you can decorative. cut these. Fabric pieces. Oh, if they're oh I see that. Everything. Oh, she's patched her. Yeah, patched yeah. it in. But, but so it made it look yeah. like a pattern. Well, uh -huh. That's clever. Very good. But I mean, she's an expert uh, yeah. sewer. And oh, somebody sold. These Seems to. I just, think yeah. She knows yeah. somebody. Yeah. She's a production mover. Yeah. She does a business. Yeah. She turns but off. you know, think about adding little threads later on. You mean mm -hmm. silver or gold? Yeah. This or, opens the yeah. possibilities, doesn't it? And it. Fun. It this brings it together. One, Alan will relate to that a lot. Is a mm. hand dyed mm. oh silk. Mm. Did you do that? No. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> wish I did. No, I mean, you I have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. Yeah. Yeah, oh that's my. all silk. Yeah. So, and it's just a square piece, look. Oh. But for me, when you put it on, I don't have any shoulders. I've got very low shoulders. Well, then you can so this one has pads inside, yeah. but I took them off because they came out of fashion. You know the football. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So what I do, I fold when I'm wearing. I fold it inside like this, oh, and it, it gives it a little bit of shape for my body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But tell them what Kelsey oh, said. This is right. beautiful. Finish, huh? Uh, uh, Yes, she she put a little pad inside and put it's it in. You also you could talked also about do putting a, a pleat. pleat. You can put a pleat. Uh, yes, uh, that's another oh. idea too. But, but I don't want I don't want to change it too much because then it 
you know? Mm -hmm. No, but what you're doing is you're adjusting it for the fashion. I mean, yeah. actually, this yeah. I like the uh, I going think. like this it makes mm -hmm. it much more fashionable than leaving yeah. it hang down, right. even if you had yeah, shoulders. It just, it, yeah, I'm sure, and it looks so boxy. It's and that gives it a, a vertical line. Yes. And so wow. is this 100% silk? Yes. What's with it? I mean, it's very it's thick. It's, yeah. You can buy thick silk yarn. Yeah. Really? I and always thought silk the raw was very... This is, yeah, it would be yeah. silk Slippery. Oil. Yeah, silk oil. Silk and oil. Um, yeah, or or tusks of silk. Yeah. 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 And, um, yeah. and um, the work would have been so spaced out. Yeah. So you make the work up, well. hold it or something like that, mm -hmm. and put it in multiple dye Wow. Yeah. Tell me, if you have silk, how do you finish a, um, a weaver's silk as compared to perhaps, I've got hand spun silk caps, so we've got long fibers, but would you use that in the warp? And if you did... Are you talking about a yarn? Yeah. In, yeah. I, I spun from the... Do you know what the silk caps are? Yeah. Yes, I spun a yarn. I would use it for weft. I would use Not it for, for weft. So what would you put for one? So what is you the warp in this? Silk yarn. So Sorry? The warp is silk as well. Silk yeah. Or silk That's weavers so strange. Weavers yarn. Okay. I mean, I've got blouses okay. that are silk, but they... It's fine or silk. Yeah. But oh. this is... I think this is called... Does that uh, have any silk? Raw silk? Yeah. Or not raw silk? Yeah. 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 She said it is. No oil. No oil. No oil. No oil. No oil. But it's different. It's like the... This catalog is silk. The scarf that I brought in the other day, that is the raw silk. Well, and it doesn't no have the fine finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it's mm -hmm. in the front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think they start off with the luxury fibers at the front uh, and then work back. Mm -hmm. so, really? What do you think? Silk. Yeah, yeah. Silk. Yeah. 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 silks. Um, but they're not very thick, are they? You can oh, get can them you? thicker. These ones uh, aren't. Oh. But yeah. you 